Hello Aquarius, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to do a weekly tarot and angel card reading for upcoming week which is July 11th through to 17th. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great Aquarius. Just keep in mind this is a general reading so take the messages that resonate and drop the rest and let me tell you I'm really grateful for you being here spending time with me and watching liking and commenting and of course subscribing right that's out of the way uh let's dive in aquarius what's coming in for you this week eight of swords six of pentacles ten of wands knight of pentacles okay interesting all right and at the bottom i'm going to take the card the resonates most with you and the message from universe <laughs> Wow, I, I straight away what comes to my mind is there will be questions that answers need to come. There will be definitely questions that will need to be answered and they're very, quite deep. And be prepared, Aquarius, because Aqu Hierophant, he is talking about what you bring to this world. What are your best qualities? What are your best of you that you contribute on this lifetime, on this planet? Please don't ignore this message because when he looks, the messages that come straight like this, they are for this moment right now. And it's an important message. He says, if you don't know the answer, be quiet. That's why he said, has these earmuffs. Be quiet and listen. Your heart and the guidance from above, your higher self, is coming. You have the key to unlock the door to success. No one else has. But it's you who has to do it. It's only your key that will fit that door. It's kind of like message saying, we are all individuals. We are kind of alike, but we are different. And our individuality is the one that brings this beautiful energy to this world if you start to compare yourself if you start to copy someone else you lose your identity imagine a jigsaw puzzle just with all the same colors let's say white that's not fun you need the colors you need and it's kind of the universe is saying so what is you what is you that is calling for being this bigger person or it doesn't have to be huge crazy dreams and stuff but something have you thought about it? Do you have this answer? What is that you bring to this world? Let's say you are maybe mom. You're great mom to the children. So you are raising children with the best knowledge you can. And that is so important. Maybe you are um, working hard. And even maybe you're not doing the job that you want to do. But you're providing. Right? And you're feeling this is your duty. But there's always something else. It kind of feels that there's a bit of you somewhere that is yearning for something more. And very often when we are in everyday life, we kind of feel trapped in our responsibilities, trapped in our situation. And we don't know way out. We don't know. But doesn't mean that there isn't. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't see, it doesn't mean it's not there. I have an example here. And I, I, I was a kid, I was a bit weird, maybe. Because I always loved sometimes the grey days. Because that meant I have to switch my inner sun in. And even though I couldn't see the sun through the clouds, I knew the sun comes out every day for you. And that's the same thing. Even though you can't see the way out. You can't see maybe how you could maybe um, prosper or fulfill your dreams. But doesn't mean that there is no way to do it right uh-huh here we go little steps i love this card and this card is so so strong and energetic because the victory is not just a big massive podium with hundred thousand people watching you it's especially the ones that you win over yourself the ones that are small little victories or little things being grateful and finding way if you can right? Very often, a lot of people who are writers, they say, oh, if I had a half year off, I would write a lot. No, you wouldn't. Most, most 
lot of people who write actually are because they are more strict to their schedule or because of working and family, they actually are more productive when they put themselves under pressure and have a little bit of time, but regular. So you see what I mean? So even don't find excuses, find solutions, find the way how you can do this. Six of Pentacles. I think you sometimes maybe are very generous and give yourself, give everyone else your time, energy, money. And there is a little bit needed a light on this. There's people who are genuinely in need, but there are people who are needy and parasiting from this. So you need to use your uh, inner scales to figure that out. So you are not leaking energy, hence you are maybe short of time for yourself as well, for your dreams. Maybe you are giving so much out and people are taking your kindness as your weakness. However, I love, love, love this card. And you, <laughs> you might want to say, why? This person is weighed down by the heavy weight and he's just struggling. Yes, he is. But the persistence is the quality that absolutely oozes this card. You are not going to stop. You are, you keep your promise. And that is absolutely amazing. You're persistent. You are going to go and go. And you know the pain is there. But you know that that reward is even bigger and more important. And this is your great. This is kind of brilliant quality to have. I think nowadays there's a lot of uh, that missing. And I'm really glad that you still have that. Use that energies. Use them qualities to take little steps by day, by day, by day and learn either new language, new new craft even, right? And doesn't have to be a lot, but regular. Maybe take 10, 15 minutes every day. Whatever the dream you have, you can do it. If you put your mind to it, if you're persistent and take little steps. And Nine of Pentacles, it feels that there is lots about something, what you do, something, what you work, something you dream that is actually tangible, right? And Nine of Pentacles takes very seriously whatever is happening. There is calculations, there is no risk taking, but there is no procrastination. Even though he's standing, he is planning. Planning is not a waste of time, Right? And the ground is ready for the crops to grow. And give the time. Don't rush things. Take your time. But do not procrastinate. Take action. Absolutely. Every little action is more proactive than just sitting and thinking and dwelling on things that you cannot do at current position. Right. Aquarius, let's have a look. What angel symbolisms would like to add to this? This one's coming through. Yes, you are. Gold medalist. Your dream is so big. You're dreaming big. And that's great. Your star, your your card is star. This is your dream. You go for it. Don't let anyone else to dim your light for no one or nothing. Okay? And who you surround? Maybe if someone there is that is uh, kind of looking down at you or on you and thinking who you think you are dreaming these big dreams, right? Get the reality. Um... Maybe get the reality with that person or energies. And maybe if they're not charging you, time to go. Right? Wheel of Fortune. See, as soon as you start to take some sort of action, and action towards your whatever you want to do, big or small. I'm serious. Even the small things, and especially the small things, going to give you such a big rewards. And it gives you so much boost and confidence that you can go for something bigger. And see how... The universe and the world and law of attraction is literally coming to help you, assist you. Trust me. <laughs> I'm absolutely positive about that. All right, Aquarius, what message is coming from angels? Oh, I love this. I have a gift. You have a gift. I have as well. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. And that means literally... That you are very inspirational to younger uh, younger people, as well as the mindset of young person. Maybe this kind of childlike 
attitude towards life or things sometimes is needed maybe you're taking yourself too seriously because you i understand you have life and responsibilities and you sometimes they weigh yourself down but if you allow yourself sometimes be this kind of childlike it may really help you to light yourself up a bit all right here we have another torch right i'm leading you towards answers to your prayers please listen wow that's the same hierophant is saying be quiet and listen be silent and listen to the answers i'm leading you towards answers to your prayers please listen to and follow the steps i'm you i'm communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams this is a powerful powerful message because this lady here is leading children like a childlike person or soul towards the light towards the divine purpose because the journey is never ending right all right aquarius thanks so much for being here have a great week and i'll see you in the next reading bye, -bye.